Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop and back to our carbide chisel project part two. So in this one, we're going to be taking one of the 10 mil one centimeter rods and making a gouge out of it. So this one will obviously be for the lathe, uh, and a gouge chisel is basically for just you know quickly taking down or you know taking down rough wood. Um, so I this one's probably going to be a wee bit maybe a challenge as we're going to have to, you know, cut a groove in it and then cut that angle at the bottom with the groove. So I definitely, this will be maybe a challenge. But aye, so let's get to it. We'll start by making the honnel. And I've still got the ferrule for the other one, so we don't need to make one aim. Just fire that one on. Then we'll get to the hard part, grinding this down. I think I can easily get two handles out of this. Aye. Chop it down the middle this way. I think that's easy two handles, look. Easy. There we go, that will do it. So let's get on to working on this now. So I'm going to start by putting a slit in it and then I'll use like these wee ones here to open that up into a sort of half moon shaped and then we'll use the, the disc to to knock this corner away and to join it up look be a lot more difficult to do this one so eh. It's looking all right. I went a wee bit off down here, but really, it's only that bit there that's important, you know. Didn't actually need to go down that far. So I'm going to start working this bottom bit. I'm just going to try and get a flat spot on it first, and then just try and round and join it up. And then I'll finish it with, uh, with this on the lathe. It looks alright. I need to figure out a way to sharpen this bit, um, but I can put it in the hono. So I've got the other rod, and that seats on there, seats in there perfectly. So just to wrap that a wee bit of this around it, 1200, so I can carve out. 
try this. I've done as much as I could there. So let's test it. Now I made this one obviously for the lathe. Um, because this is a gouging tool for the lathe. Now I don't know if it is sharp enough to cut. It does look sharp, but only one way to find out, and that's by testing it. So let's try that. If you want to see me make any more of these, just let me know in the comments. As I've still got two more, I've got another one mil one, and then I think that is uh, eight mil. So I might just make a flat pairing one with us. I don't know, um, or a skew a skew chisel with us. Um, and I might make a wee V1 with that. I don't know, I'll need, I'll need to think about it. I've got two left. I'm not going to buy any mail, you know. Four of them will plenty of it. But I'll need to think about what ones I want to make. So, eh. just let me know if you want to see any more of these videos. So, it definitely works as a roughing gouge, you know. Um, it's definitely sharp, but obviously with all tools, you know, you can get them sharper. I just need to develop a better way to, you know, to sharpen in the gouge here. Now obviously I've got stones for sharpening in the gouge, but that's for carbon steel. So I need to develop some sort of wee hang um, to get in there. And I, I, I was thinking about just you know, you know getting a wee bit of wood, circle wood, turning it down to the radius of inside there, lathering it with that diamond paste, um, and I think that that would uh, polish it, you know. Wouldn't it go as far to remove material, but that's not what I want. I just want to polish it, you know. Um, but uh, definitely done a good job at taking that down. Um, no bad, pretty happy with it, you know. So, no bad man, carbon, uh, using the carbon rods to make tools. Uh, I would say it was a lot harder making this one, but they were both pretty easy to make. Um, just getting the angles right, you know, getting that bottom angle right. Which I'm sure is around about 30 degrees, but I just I just eyeballed it, you know. Just if it looked good, look. Um, but obviously angles are everything, you know. So you get that angle too wrong, you know, it's too steeper. Um, that it will, you know, won't, will not cut properly, but yeah. In my experience, you know, a sharp bit of metal, whatever angle will cut, <laughs> you know, so. Um, Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it was definitely a cool wee uh, project for me projects. Um, I, I, I like making tools and then developing that tool further, you know, to be a more functional, better product, you know. So, I man, I will see you in the next project, guys, alright? Take it easy and God bless, guys. And build stuff. See you later.